Hello, everybody. In this short presentation, I will demonstrate how to download and install the Planet ArcGIS add-in, then how to download and mosaic Planet imagery in Arc Pro. So if you Google Planet Arc Pro add-in, it will take you to this Planet ArcGIS Pro add-in page, version 2.0. You can enter your credential and download the add-in. I've already done that. And on your top ribbon, if you go to project, add-in manager, I've already got my planet add-in explorer installed, but you can um, go and search for add-in in the folder where you downloaded it. The installation is really quick. Once that's done, you'll have a new tab here for planet imagery. You will want to log in. And what we'll do is that it will make those tabs here active. The tab you want to go to is the Planet Base Map tab, and there is a name drop-down menu which takes you to whatever subscription you have, in our case a weekly subscription, and when you select that you get all the imagery that's available for you. I'm going to select the most recent week. You can either explore the imagery in Arc Pro, I'm going to let my colleague do that, or you can order it if you want to download either the complete base map or just a specific area. I give it a name, and you submit your order. You go to your planet status panel, and here you can download your tiles. If you want to mosaic them to uh, make a permanent image, you go to your tools, and you go to here, mosaic to new raster. And this is where you will navigate to where you downloaded your tiles. I'll go really quickly to show you what they look like. And you can see they're TIFF images. So you download, you select the images you want. The output location, you give it a name with extension that IMG or TIFF, whatever you prefer. You want to change the pixel type from 8-bit to 16-bit unsigned and set the number of band to 5 and click Run. I won't do it right now. Um, to give you an idea, for 66 tiles, it takes about two hours to generate your mosaic image. Thank you. Okay, so like Claudine mentioned, when you go to your planet base maps, you have the option to either order or explore. So in this case, I'm going to select the four images that we have access to right now and hit Explore. And if you go up to the ribbon across the top under the base map tools, you can cycle through these images by hitting the Next button. So it's a nice way to look at them as kind of a time series. The other thing that's nice is that you can go to this visualization drop down, and you can change the visualization for the different images. So there's a variety of different uh, vegetation indices, so NDVI, for instance, and all these can be just computed on the fly as you stream in the imagery. So you don't need to download anything to make this work, and you can still cycle through no matter what visualization you have uh, selected. So the other thing that this helps us with is if um, we want to stream in our field data as well that we're collecting in the field, you can go over here to your catalog and go to the portal. And let's just drag in this training polygons feature class. And then that allows us to, before we even download imagery, zoom into some of the areas where we've collected data in the field and move through this planet time series to see if we can see any. Uh, relationship between where we're collecting data in the field and uh, what we're seeing from the imagery. So we can use the different visualizations to kind of track how uh, vegetation indices or different spectral characteristics are progressing in areas where we have been collecting data in the field. So almost in real time, we can kind of connect the imagery to the data we're collecting on the ground. Thanks so much for listening. I hope that you found this demo useful. We've certainly found the integration between Planet and ArcPro really useful for our work, so hopefully this helps you out in your projects.